Hey Mike, Bill from Long Island. I'm an 8 handicap. Thanks for picking me to do a swing analysis. I really appreciate it. Some of my misses are, I have a tendency to hit hooks, I hit blocks, I early extend a lot, and I've been really working on trying to keep that right foot down like you talk about in your video. Here are some of my swings. Please help me out. I'm excited to see what you say. Thanks a lot. Mr. Bill Hope, watched your swing, saw the kids out there playing. It was awesome behind you. All right, pal, here's what we have to do. Uh, your grip, I think, for you is probably pretty good. Uh, I'd want to check your left arm. You, you might be a little stronger than you need to be or a little, you know, turned a little. Here's probably the first most important thing. When I look at your setup, maybe you've just started to try to turn your hand. And what I find interesting, somebody's arm hangs like this. You see how little tension there is in my arm and then they put their hand on the club and then they try to turn their hand. They turn their hand, and this is a big reason people struggle with everything in golf because their shoulders are so tight that now to turn my hand, you, you do this with your shoulders. So you're turning your, you're not just rotating your arm. See, your arm hangs here. There's no tension in my shoulder. To put my hand on the club like this shouldn't cause my shoulder to tighten up. So when I look at you, your grip's good, but I can see that there's so much tension in this shoulder. So I want you to get your, let your arm relax and then keep the tension level out of your shoulder. Now, see, I can rotate my arm as far as you want. I could put it this way on the club. I mean, I could turn my hand all the way around. What happened here? So it's not your shoulder that's turning your arm. Your arm's just hanging natural. And if anything, it's just rotating in your shoulder socket. So there shouldn't be any tension there. So the first thing in your setup, we gotta get the, the tension out of your left shoulder. So we're gonna put your hand on there. Now, if you still feel some tension and you're here, then what I want you to do is I want you to tighten your shoulders up as tight as you can. It's, uh, and then go, uh, and then set the club down. There's a lot of really good players who do this stuff. They tighten to recognize tension, and then they go, ugh. Now, through their whole swing, they're trying to maintain that same tension level in their shoulders. By far, doing this is the most important thing for you to start with. A lot of the things that are happening in your swing is because your shoulder's so tight. So, there, you can't turn, your arms go up and down a little too much, and because you can't turn, you start trying to throw the club at the ball with your hips. So the first thing, again, again, watch my arm. All of you should try this. I mean, it shouldn't matter whether your hand is here, here. I, like I say, I could turn my hand clear around so my palms face it. My shoulder didn't tighten up. I've always struggled this with this teaching, is why people go, with their shoulder. Anytime I tell somebody to strengthen their grip and their shoulder gets involved, right now we're in trouble. So that's the first thing. We gotta get the tension out. The next thing, in your posture, you're also a little bit, hands a little low, weights a little out. So you wanna draw a line. Somebody can stand behind you with a plumb bob right through the top of the laces of your shoe. Now, when you do that, 50% of your body mass should be on each side of that line. Then again, when your arms drop down, the club shaft should be aimed at your center, which is just above your belly button. Here. Now we've done that, and now instead of being here, your grip's where it is, but your shoulder's like that. We gotta go from here to here, because if we don't, the rest of this isn't gonna work. So, uh, uh. So now we've got the tension out of your shoulders. And another good drill for you to do is just stand there. I know this sounds really elementary, but just stand there and swing your arm, rotate it around, but don't move your shoulder. For all of you, one of the most important things in a golf swing 
you have to learn how to be able to swing, rotate your arms independent of your shoulders moving. Because as soon as this happens, now the only way my arm can move is if my shoulders move. So when somebody says, okay, you're over the top, okay? Well, a lot of that's because your shoulder's so tight, you can make that work on your backswing. But when you start down, if your arm can't swing independent of your shoulders, okay, how am I gonna get the club to the ball? Well, I either have to twist with my shoulders or throw my hips forward because this has to go with this instead of it separately. The last thing, and it's connected to this. When I watch your swing with all your shots from the face on view, here's what happens. If you see, first we're like this. Every swing you make, this shoulder hardly moves at all. So it's so tight, it, it almost becomes the pivot point of your swing. So whether it's your wedges or your driver, your shoulder doesn't, it doesn't move back, which is another reason that your club starts doing a lot of things and that, that you throw your hips. So what we've got to do is we've got to get this shoulder to move back back, back. One of the best drills, whether you do the whole drill or not, is called the four-step drill. You set up, now this is gonna really help you because you set up, now you're gonna take the club and set it on your shoulder. Now, why do I want you to do this? Well, if your shoulder's tight, uh, how am I gonna get the club on my, sh without my arms going way out here? So to get that club to rest on your shoulder, or on, on this shoulder, this, these shoulder sockets have to relax. So you go one. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna now, you're in your spine angle, you're gonna turn your left shoulder back until it's just slightly behind the ball. Then you put the club up and then you hit the ball. So you go one, tension's gone, two, left shoulder behind the ball. Three, put your arms up. Four, hit the ball. Now, if when you try to hit the ball, it's a pretty complex drill, but the big thing, we gotta get the tension out so your shoulder will turn back a little bit more. I've not seen one tour player who takes a driver or a long club and this shoulder stays right here. They all, that shoulder moves back a little bit. That gives you more time to hit it, it makes your body turn more, gives you more space. So that's the sequence, and those are the drills you need. Thanks for sending the lesson in.